Hello everybody and welcome to winter. Unfortunately, it is finally here and it's cold. I've just had a text message from the dealership who have said that my tractor is now ready to pick up. That's the Ford tractor and the MB track, that one there, must be returned. Also, before I do go, I'm just going to show you the uh, tidying up that I did. I got some absorbent granules and put them down. Then I shoveled it all up and put some sand down finally and it looks quite good. Uh, the oil has been removed. So, let's jump into the uh, fairly delightful MB track. I have enjoyed having it here. So, yeah, let's just get it started up. We do need plenty of lights on because it takes a while to get light at this time of uh, the year. It is depressing. It is a very depressing time of year, although there can be some fairly stunning sunsets as well. Um, yeah, so if I just reverse this into the shed here. It needs to be somewhere out of the way. Um, I suppose the plough isn't going to be used for a while. So I'll put it here. Of course, a worker can move it, or Peter can move it, or maybe me, whoever needs to get the plough out first, I suppose. Anyway, we need to remove the, uh, the cable just here. There we go. And the PTO shaft. And finally, drop the whole thing off. Um, and now it can be returned. So let's head off. And I can pick up the Ford. So they haven't actually said yet if I do have to pay for the repair work. Um, I'm hoping that I don't have to since I have actually only just bought it. But we will see. I think it would be unlikely that it's something that I would have to pay for. Almost there. It is quite a drive. The time really does add up when you have to keep driving uh, backwards and forwards from the store. Okay, right. Uh, there it is. Parked in front of us. So I should probably put this back where it came from. Somewhere over here. Put it back between the fence and the Hurleyman. And there we go. Yep, it's been enjoyable. I have enjoyed having the MB track for a few days. So I better go and just, um, well, tell them I've arrived and give the key back for the MB track. Hello. Coming to pick up your tractor, have you? Yeah, and I've also returned the, uh, the tractor which I borrowed from you. A very nice tractor, I must say. It is, yes. Now, the bill. It is uh, 230 plus labour. What? Why is it costing me? What, what was the problem? Well, I would say you've had a vandal on the farm. There was an 8mm drill bit wedged in the sump. They'd even left the drill bit in there. They drilled it in and left the bit where it was. But I looked around the sump. I didn't see anything. I can assure you there was a drill bit in your sump. You might want to take a look at security on your farm. Oh, that's all I need. So it was 230 plus labour. So what was it? 280. Uh, it was 230 plus 50 for labour, so yes, two th 280, 280. Right, well, I'm now ready to go. Oh, taking ages. Um, yeah, the card machine didn't work, so I, I couldn't pay via card, I had to get some cash out. Anyway, at least it's sorted. Oh, good to hear it run again. Lovely tractor. It is a shame that I can't have the MB track as well. Um, I might put some money aside for it, and if it's still here in a few weeks or a few months' time, then I'll definitely buy it, because, well, I should have more money by then. And actually, I should be getting paid by Peter either today or tomorrow. I'm not too sure exactly which day he pays. But, yeah, from the last week of work that I've done, he does owe me some money. I think it's like a thousand or two. A thousand, I think. Um... But he will know the true, the true figure. So, um, yeah, anyway, let's just head back over to his farm. We'll see what we're going to be doing today. Um, and, yeah, he is a very supportive person. Because uh, he allows me to, you know, break away from the farm work to sort out my own tractor and stuff. Uh, and, in fact, I do get quite a bit of time off as well. Yeah, I think all the trees have lost their leaves now. Winter really is here. Let's just hope that it isn't too cold. Uh, it's pretty cold at the moment, it's about minus four. But um, yes, yeah, so let's just hope it's not loads and loads of snow. If it gets mild again quickly, so when spring is close, 
uh, if it can become mild and even hot quickly that would be great so clearly well there's been some kind of damage done to my tractor vandalism I should probably warn Dennis actually I mean I don't think anybody's going to want to damage his Suzuki but just you know keep an eye out for suspicious vehicles and that sort of thing I wonder if he's in he probably is Oh, oh, oh Dagwin. Not seen you for a while. No, uh, I've been very busy. Um, I'm just going to warn you about some vandalism. I've already had a problem. I bought this Ford tractor out here. And, well, somebody drove a hole in the sump. Can you believe how childish some people can be? Although that's probably an insult to children. Ugh. Blimey. Can't keep anything anywhere, can you? It's just what I was thinking. Anyway, just to warn if you to keep your Suzuki all locked up and stuff. I mean, nobody's going to want such a wreck, but, you know, you want to keep it nice and safe. Hey, what are you saying about my Suzuki? Nothing, Dennis. It's a lovely car. I mean, oh, if only I had one of those. Things I miss out on, you see. Anyway, yeah. Uh, again, thank you for your help with the flood and stuff. It was really... Really good of you. My pleasure, Darwin. Whoops, I think I might have um, hit a nerve there. It was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> Not a very good joke, clearly. Anyway, let's head back over to the farm. And we will, like I said, speak to Peter Wood. Right, so I... Well, I'm going to have to keep it where I had it before. It's not ideal. Funny thing is, though, if somebody vandalised you, why would they vandalise mine and not something more expensive? I don't think that was touched at all. It's a bit of a mystery, if you ask me. And I looked and I couldn't see any obvious damage. But yeah, I've had a new sump. <laughs> Very expensive. Although, actually, it could have been worse, since it is quite an old tractor now. So let's see what we're going to be doing today. Morning, Dagwin. Now, I do have a job for you today. Can you take the trailer load of fertilizer over to my other farm and unload it into the same shed that you put the bales in a few days ago. Absolutely. Sounds easy enough. Um, I must warn you though, I have got to the bottom of what the problem was with my Ford, and apparently it was vandalized. Apparently somebody drilled a hole in it and left the drill bits in the hole. And, well, they did it in the sump, so it drained all of the engine oil out. Oh, this is interesting. Vandals on my farm outside my house. Yes, unfortunately that is the case. I too am very surprised. I thought it was very quiet around here. No crime or anything. But no, somebody has still vandalised my tractor. That's very strange because I leave the shed doors open all the time and I've never had a problem. And then they go and target your tractor. Yeah, it is weird. Well, I guess I could put some cameras up. That might deter people in the future. That would be a fantastic idea. Anyway, i better get the job done. Of course. Report back when you've done it. Okay then. So, yeah, a, like a camera here would be perfect on the shed. Because um, that should catch anybody entering this part of the yard. Anyway, um, we've already got the pallet fork on this Massey Ferguson tractor. So if we attach this to that trailer, we can then head across to the other farm and get it unloaded. It shouldn't take too long. And also, I can probably show you the fields which uh, Peter Wood drilled a few days ago. I did see him doing two of them, and obviously I did one. I think he does have three arable fields. I think it's three in total. But I still haven't seen this map. I would love to see the farm map. Okay, right. So, let's go. Yeah, th these are all grass fields around here. But further down this track on, I think, the right-hand side, there is a field which I think has even germinated as well. It's doing very well. It looks very healthy. All right. It's towing that very well. This is very rough. It's a very rough track. Hmm. I might be wrong. It might be left at the end of here and then it's on the left hand side as we go down to the other farm he definitely has an arable field here though because I have seen it before 
think it's behind this this house here. Here it is, yes, I knew I'd seen it. So that is Peter Woods. And it looks to be a very good crop. It's all growing very nicely. Um, so yeah, we'll probably be doing some work in there in the springtime. I doubt there'll be anything to do now in the winter. It's a fairly quiet time of year, except for animal work. There will always be animal work to do. Come on, Massey, you can do it. This is quite a heavy trailer. It did struggle to pull us up the hill, but we are here. If I put this in a fairly good place, I think probably if I drive into here and reverse back, I can unload it. It shouldn't be too difficult. Right. So, unstrap all of these. And we'll open up the barn. And we can stack them very neatly. Well, not really stack, but we can put them in here very neatly. Um, yeah, I think probably the opposite side to the hay or the grass. It would not be a good idea to put the fertilizer that close to something which is probably going to be consumed by some animals. So, here we go. Right then, all done. And yeah, that's uh, certainly neat enough. I'm trying to keep it very neat in here because the last thing I want to do is have it really messy because when Peter comes in here and sees it, he's going to have a fit if it's just all over the place. So uh, well, I've attempted to stack them neatly last time and then these are fairly neat as well. I don't know what else he's going to be bringing in here, but there could be anything. It just seems to be like a, a general storage shed. Right, okay, so let's just get this back onto the tractor and then we can go. I mustn't forget to shut the shed door either. Okay. Yeah, so because it is winter, um, as for tractor work, I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing. As mentioned before, I think it is mostly going to be animal work I would have thought but I don't know because I've never worked on his farm in the winter before and here we are back at the farm so I don't actually know where he wants to keep this trailer because I don't think it was even from here originally I think it's it's either the dealer's trailer because they already had it to load up or he had it uh, brought across from another farm again because I don't know I'll put it in here he can tow with his pickup, so he might be taking it back to where it came from. And that puts us back around the corner. Okay. Right. So, let's go and have a, a quick chat, see what else he wants us to do. And, well, then we can do it. Well done, Dagwin. Now, I've got a bit of inside information. Somebody that I know, a farmer up the road, has got a piece of land. And I think they want to sell it. But I don't know for sure. If they were to sell it, obviously I can't say a price, but I would guess that it's worth about £60,000. Well, that's sort of in my price range. It's, it's not ideal. But it's interesting that there is a piece of land for sale. Yes. If you want to see it, turn right out the farm entrance, head all the way up the road, turn right, then when you get to a house with a caravan in the drive, you should see a gate opposite, which goes to two fields. I think he's going to sell the field nearest to the road. Interesting. But you say he might not even sell it. He might not, but I'm 99% sure that he will. Hmm, what makes you so certain? Um, I... Probably shouldn't say. Okay. Sounds interesting. So, do you have any more work for me? Actually, I don't. 
If you want to go and see the field, then by all means. Okay. Well, thanks, Peter. Let's go and take a look. We'll take the Ford, I guess. Yeah, if it was sixty thousand pounds, it well, it's interesting. I would have to borrow some money, but yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's not too far from here. So it definitely sounds like a strong possibility. Cause I've been looking for some land for a while since I got here, um, because then at least I could start some very small scale farming and make some more money that way. Yeah, I don't know if it's a grass field or an arable field. Would be interesting to know, but we are about to find out. Ah, uh, looking good. That's the field that I drilled. Looking very good. Right, so he said, turn right at the end of here, and then look out for a house with a caravan. There's some houses over there, and there should be a gate opposite. Now, because it isn't for sale, I probably shouldn't just go and have a wander around the field. But it would be very tempting to. I'll have to stand at the gate and have a look. Oh, this is a caravan. That is a house. And oh, no gate. Not yet anyway. Oh, here, here we go. There is it. Sort of between those two houses. So, if I was to have a guess, I would say this is the place. So, do they have access through this field? Or is that like a shared farm track? It must be shared. I would imagine. Well, yeah, if it comes up for sale, I think I'll try and buy it. I could put trees in there, I suppose. I could also plough it up, put some crops in, maybe do a bit of everything. Have a section for grass, section for arable. Ah, oh, the possibilities. Can you imagine? They're endless. Okay, so yeah, that, that is very promising, very tempting. I would love to buy that field. It is just literally up the road. It couldn't be better. Right, better get back to Peter then. See if there's anything else that he wants me to do. Whoa. I'm sure that was Peter's. Why was he driving so erratically? That was weirdly fast. Hang on, who's this? That's Peter as well. What? Two Peters. What is going on here? Peter. Dagwin. Did you see who it was? I've just had my pickup stolen. Oh. I thought it was weird. Driving that fast. This is all I need. I'll call the police. 